Oh, you cannot say that. Okay. So yesterday we stopped at the uh, example. Um, x times square root of one plus x squared and dx. We stop here, and then we want to do x equals tangent theta. And this is the form, general form of this one is a square plus x square. Okay, so. Now a squared plus u squared, well you can do the a squared plus x squared. In this one, because we have 1 plus x squared, in the trigonometry identity is 1 plus 10 squared equals second squared. So here we just let x equals tangent theta. Alright, can anyone continue help me to finish this one? So dx over d theta equals Okay, ready everyone? Can you continue? What's the derivative of tangent? Can anyone tell me what is the derivative of tangent? Taylor? What is the derivative of tangent? I'm not sure. Okay, does it, can anyone tell me what is the derivative of tangent? Is it like secant x, tangent x? Uh, derivative of tangent is... Yeah, secant is square. Okay. Okay, if we assume x equals tangent theta, so dx d theta equals tangent theta. Okay, I'll just write it here in case we have to use it. Okay, d of derivative of a tangent equals secant theta square. Derivative of secant, this is a little bit confusing sometimes. Derivative of secant is secant theta tangent theta. Okay, so now we finish dx of d theta is secant theta square. So we got dx equals secant theta square d theta. Very good. So now we continue, we're done with this x and dx. Uh, dx is here, x is here. So we just now we need to plug it in. Alright. So plug x back into here is tangent theta. Square root of 1 plus x squared, which is 1 plus 10 squared. dx, we just put it here, second theta square, d theta. Very good. So now then, Tan theta, tangent theta, square root of 1 plus tangent theta square, which is square root of second square. So it's second theta. And then we have also have second theta square and d theta. So I would like to stop here and say if anyone can tell me what do you think I need to do here. Think about it. What do you think I can do here? Combine the d theta and the tangent theta. Combine the d theta and tangent theta, this two? Yes. Okay, that's a very good, uh, very good try. Let's see. If we combine these two, we, this two are goes together, right? Because of tangent theta equals secant theta squared. So you're going to have tangent theta, secant theta, and these two goes together as d of tangent theta. Is that what you say? What is that? No, I was saying to combine the uh, tangent theta on the far left with the d theta. Okay, combine... Combine these two. Like a secant theta, secant theta square of d tan theta. Like that. Yep, I was... I messed that up. It's very, very, very close. Very, very close. Yes. Okay. So now, what do we do? It's very close to what do we need to do. This is uh, the previous trigonometry um, integrals. 
whenever you have a 10 second, you try to make either using secant theta square. Well, you can do combine this to give you a d of a tangent. Does it work? And this one has a tangent as another second. If this is secant square, yeah, it works perfect because secant square you can change the secant square in terms of one plus tangent square, right? But it's not. So I will not combine these two. Instead of combine these two, I have this one here. So how about I combine this one and this one? Okay. So basically, you can have d of secant theta. That's a derivative of secant theta, right? Equals secant theta, tan theta, d theta. That's what this one means, right? And then you combine tan secant and d theta together. You get secant theta square. This is remained. This part has remained. And this three together as a d of secant theta. So now secant theta square d of secant theta. You can use u substitution. It will give you secant theta cube over three plus C. So now, yesterday we have said that this is not done yet. Okay, we are not done with this question because the the antiderivative is the function of x. Now our result is the function is a theta function here. So we have to convert the theta back into x. Now we have uh, assume x equal tangent theta. So we got tangent theta. Tangent of theta equals x. All right. Can anyone tell me how I'm going to assign the size, the three sides of this triangle? Suppose this is a theta. Uh, are the opposite sides going to be x? Very good. Very good. And the base of it is going to be one. Perfect. Huh? Okay. And along this side is going to be the root of the m. Nice. That's very good. Thank you very much, Lacey. So we got the secant theta. We have the triangle here. So now we have to plug it back into secant theta. Secant theta is one over cosine. So cosine is adjacent over uh, hypotenuse. So secant theta is hypotenuse over adjacent okay second theta equals hypotenuse over adjacent we have a hypotenuse is the square root of x squared plus one adjacent side is one okay they have cubit and then divide by three okay because three that then your final answer is going to be x squared plus one square root of three well, sometimes you have to you put the out one of them out because square root of cube you can put x square plus one and then square root of x square plus one because that's cube cubic or cubic and square is three halves power three half power is one and a half power this is the one this half power and over three and then plus c and then this is your final answer okay all right so let's continue with more examples because I would like to give you more examples and we can. You will be more familiar with what we are supposed to do. So next is x square one plus x square square dx. Whenever you see one plus x square, you know what we we need to substitute. So let x equals. Whenever you see one plus x square, you net x equals tangent theta, right? I think everyone probably know that now. If it's one minus x square, you do x equals sine theta. Okay. If it's one plus x square, you do x equal tangent theta. When x is x square minus one, you do x equals secant theta. Okay. This is kind of a three golden rules of the trigonometry substitution. Well, it could be a. You could the one could be a square, like a four nine. Well, one could be any other number. Okay, so this is a trick. Um, this is the kind of like a rule for trick substitution. 
Now we see 1 plus x squared here, so we continue. Derivative of x dx equals uh, tangent theta, derivative of tangent is secant squared d theta. You can put dx over d theta equals secant theta squared. So in this way, it's better for this. You just substitute it. And now we're ready. We're done for everything. So now you plug it in. So you got 10 theta squared. And uh, 1 plus x squared so is 1 plus 10 squared. That's what we have. We, we, that's what we will like because we just have. Okay, replace dx by second theta squared d theta. And we have the bottom is 10 theta squared. The bottom is just the second theta squared. Then square again of second theta squared d theta. That makes sense, right? And uh, theta, second theta square, square, and second square and four, they cancel one of them. So your answer is going to be tangent theta square over second theta square. Because it's the fourth power, you cancel with the square, and you have a dish, another second remain. Now this is what we have. Okay. So then. I would like to give you two minutes to try. Say what you what you got. Okay. Excuse me. Okay. This is Jen, I will down. Okay, so can anyone help me? What you got? You don't have to tell me the final answer. So where, what answer have you got? I one over square. You got this. You got this. Is that right? So, that's not my final answer. Oh, that's not a final answer. Final, it's, um, you got 1 over sine, oh wait, 1 over second, like this. I don't think so because this is tangent theta. I, I actually see something today, uh, um, 10. Square theta equals second square theta minus one. Oh yeah, you got this. Second and theta square minus one over that. And you got Yeah. Is that what it, that's what you got, right? Yeah. And then you do that, this give you a one minus one over second and theta square, right? Okay, that's very good. That's a very nice try. It's one minus one of second is 
you can we can change that second into one over cosine theta squared. Okay, that's very very good. You're almost there. So one plus what's well, that? One minus so cosine theta squared d theta. And you got one minus cosine theta. You got sine theta squared d theta. You you did a very good job, Lacy, about this change here, and then y minus one minus that, and then you continue to simplify. You're gonna get this. So here we're going. To, we have a second power here. If we have another cosine theta here, that would be perfect. I just combine this to the d of sine theta, but we don't. Okay. But if we don't have it, we still have another way to do it. Reduce power reduce formula. Can anyone tell me the power reduce formula for sine theta square? Very good, thank you, Lacey. Yes, it's one minus cos cosine two theta over two. So now I have this is one half minus cosine two theta over two d theta. Okay. Now, now I would like to ask a student a uh, question here. Um, Eric, can you help me to finish this um, end derivative? Good. And then minus what what goes to plus sine of theta minus two theta. Over <laughs> divided by over 4. Over 4. Oh, you said it's plus. Are you sure it's plus or minus? Plus. It's plus. Minus. It's still minus. Very good. Okay. So antiderivative of cosine sine, because you put derivative of sine, you put it back, is cosine. Okay. So derivative of cosine is negative sine. Derivative of cosine is negative sine. But antiderivative of cosine is just a sine. So now you plus C. Very good. Thank you very much, Eric. And then we have, we draw the picture. We have a triangle. The triangle, because we, uh, we just let, okay, we just still have that. Uh, 10 theta equals x. So we have x, and this is a theta, this is a 1. This is square root of x squared plus 1. We just convert everything back into here. So half of theta. So theta equals 10 inverse of x. Okay, so half of tangent the inverse of x minus, well, this is a sine 2 theta. We have to change the sine 2 theta into this one, sine 2 theta can change into sine cosine. Okay, this one. Yeah. So 2 and 2 cancel out, so sine theta. So the sine theta is x over square root of x squared plus 1. And then cosine theta is um, 1 over square root of x squared plus 1. Sine theta times cosine theta. And the 2 and the 4 reduced, you have another 2 here. And plus c. I hope this not confuse you. Okay, just do one more thing. I don't want to confuse you here. Alright, so what I do here, basically I change the sine 2 theta in back into sine theta again, so it's 1 half theta minus 2 sine theta cosine theta 4 plus c. Okay, and then just continue 1 half theta minus 2 and 4 cancelled out, so sine theta cosine theta over 2 plus c. So now I'm ready to convert everything back. So the half of tangent inverse of x, because theta, tan theta equals x, theta equals tangent inverse of x. Minus sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite side is x, hypotenuse is square root of x plus 1. 
adjacent side is 1, hypotenuse is x squared plus 1. And then the other one is 2 plus c. So the final answer is half of tangent the inverse of x minus x over x squared root plus 1 times 2 plus c. Okay, this is how we solve this equation. Well, it seems like it's there a lot of part is a long way to do it. But if you do it step by step, it's not really very hard. Okay, I'll give everyone a problem that you try. Let you try by yourself. Okay, so square root of x squared minus 25 over x dx. According to the previous three rules, you know what you need to substitute, right? Okay, I'll give you three minutes to try that yourself.
Okay, so now my question is have did all of you get something get this point right here five tangent of theta square d theta did you all got at least it here? How many of you got this one? Lacey, very good. Okay, Eric, okay, very good. Okay, I see service student got this. Zidian also got this. Okay, so very good. If you got up to this point, which means you learn um enough I mean uh, a lot in this today's class okay you got basically you got the trigonometry substitution idea okay very good okay so what do you do I think if I remember I give you three golden rules if you have not copied that you need to copy this one okay 1 minus x squared you do x equals sine theta 1 plus x squared you do x equals tangent theta x squared minus 1 you do x equals secant theta okay well, if it's 25, 2, 3, it doesn't matter, okay? The numbers doesn't matter if it's 25 or 2, 3, 4, okay? You just change the coefficient of theta. But the co core trig function will be the same, okay? So if you have 1 minus x squared is sine theta. 1 plus x squared do tan theta. x squared minus 1 do secant theta, okay? These three things is kind of common rule you can use to do the substitution, okay? So now here is, um, do you need, still need that there? Yeah. Got it? Okay. So here you have x squared minus 25, which is the x squared minus 1 form. Okay. But um, if it's x squared minus 1, you use secant theta. But now it's x squared minus 25, you have to think about that um, coefficient. Okay. So x will be, you can use, 5 second theta because you want factor 25 out okay so now just plug it in so dx x equals 5 second theta so dx will equals 5 second tangent because the derivative ten second is okay derivative second is second tangent <coughs> d theta so now we're done with this x and theta thing so just plug it in x is 5 second, plug in, so it's 25, can plug, uh, factor out, second theta square minus 1, over x is 5 second, and dx, change that into 5 second, tangent of theta, d theta. <coughs> now you can see that uh, this second of theta square minus 1 is tangent of theta square. So your square root of 25 is 5, square root of 10 theta square is 10 theta. Now 5 second and 5 second cancel out, so you have 1, and you have 10 theta remained. So then you got 5 tangent of theta square d theta, okay. So 5 tangent of theta square d theta, <coughs> what you can do, this is kind of a little bit trickier. Five. If you remember that derivative of tangent equals second square. Okay. So if I have second theta square d theta, it will equal tangent theta because the derivative of ten equals second theta square. Okay. So this is kind of the formula for here. Second theta square equal tangent theta. So now. If I give you this formula, what do you think I need to do? Change this to do on th with this one. If in the test I give you this problem, you finish up until 5, 10, theta square, I will give you at least half of the credit. Okay. So now, um, second theta square d theta equals tangent theta. So what I do here, can anyone tell me? Substitute in secant squared theta minus one. Very good, very good. Um, thank you. I just I didn't pay attention who said that. Thank you very much. And a five secant theta square minus one d theta. So now secant theta square is given to here. So you can just uh, do derivative of secant is tangent of theta, and minus one is just minus theta plus c. Perfect. Now we just 
put it back, convert it back into, if you finish up to here, I'll give you 80% of the credit, okay? But I think you can do the rest for sure. You can convert theta back into the x. So we just did x equals 5 second theta. x equals 5, 5 second theta. So we got second theta equals s, x over 5. Second equals 1 over cosine. 1 over cosine is hypotenuse over adjacent. 1 over cosine. So it's hypotenuse over adjacent. Hypotenuse is x, adjacent is 5, opposite is x squared minus 25. Now we have all three sides here to plug in. The final answer is going to be 10 theta, so it's go is x squared minus 25 over 5. Okay. Theta is arc second. X over 5. Because second and theta equals x over 5, you can get theta equals just the second inverse of x over 5. That's not a problem. And plus c. And we are done. Okay, very good. Now, I want to try another one, see, if, see what you got, okay, more examples. Just an example, another example. How about x cubed over square root of, did I do x cubed? No. Okay, still x squared minus 25 dx. Oh, let it try, give you three minutes to try it.
Okay, so I was down in this one. So what you got? Did all of you get at least 125 second of theta to power 4 d theta? At least you got this, yes, everyone. How many? Of you, how many of you got at least this part? Very good, very good. Almost everyone. Okay, very good. So what do we do here? Is x is x squared minus one? So do x equals second of theta. And we do it real quick. I think you are done at that point. It's very good. And then you got second of theta square cube. D of x equals second of theta, ten theta, and d theta. So dx is second of theta, tangent of theta, d theta. Plug into here, we got five tangent of theta. No, the top is 125, my bad. And this is x is, oh, I need five, sorry. x equals five second of theta, so it's five here. So 10 theta cancel out of five, cancel out of in the end, at least you have to get 125 second of theta to power 4 d theta. If you can get this, you get half of them right, okay? But then we have to continue. So second power 4, you have to find a way to reduce the formula, reduce the power. You probably think about how about I try one of the cosine 4, and I reduce the cosine 4, I got half of cosine square, but that one is is more complicated. You probably can get it right, but it's more complicated. But what do we do? Second and tangent always goes together. So we can try 125, take a second, one of the second square out as one plus tangent. The reason I do that, because if I have a tangent at second, I probably can make one of the tangent as a second, something like that. As one of them as a derivative of the other one. Does it make sense? So that's what I'm trying to do. Because if I have second tangent, I can make some substitution, make some part as a derivative of the other one. So that's what I'm trying to do now. So it's 125. First, the second theta square. Well, which is really good. I have at least one of them is reduced as a second power, not fourth power anymore. And plus, second theta square tangent of theta square d e theta. Well, I think everyone is happy with this one because um, derivative of tangent is second square. So I can put this one inside here, which is very good, right? And then 125, derivative of second theta square, we know that derivative of tangent equals second square, so it's tangent of theta. Because derivative of tangent equals second theta square. So anti derivative of second square equals tangent. Derivative of tangent equals second square. So tangent plus this one gives you that. This one is really good because you can just put the second inside the theta. Okay? So it's tangent of theta square d of tangent of theta. Right? So you got 125 tangent of theta plus tangent of theta cube over 3 plus c. You can use the u substitution. Now, the triangle theta, because we assume 5 second x theta equals x. So second theta equals x over 5. Okay, second theta is x over 5, so it's x over 5 adjacent square root of x squared minus 25. Now plug it in. So it's 125 tangent of theta equals um, square root of x squared minus 25 over 5 plus tangent of theta cube is x squared minus 25 square root of x squared minus 25. Just cube this. 125 times 3. No, the 3 is not, there's no 125 here. This is a 3 here and uh, plus c okay so oh my bad is i still have a 125 because it's the whole thing cube okay the whole, whole thing cube is 125 here and plus c so 
So the final answer is going to be 125 and 5 cancelled out. So it's just 25 square root of x squared minus 25. The 125 and 125 cancel out. So it's just a 3 x squared minus 25. I probably use a parenthesis here. Square root of x squared minus 25 plus c. Okay, so that's it. I'll give you three formulas. Um, you probably don't have to memorize it because um, not many people, even I don't memorize all of the formulas, especially the very longer ones. So a squared minus u squared du uh, equals half of a squared arc sine u over a plus u square root of a square minus u square plus c okay square root of u square minus a square equals half of u square root of u square minus a square minus a square ln square root of sorry ln u plus square root of u square minus a square plus c okay so the other one is one two three i think a book part has it as well square root of u square plus a square equals du equals half of u square root of u square plus a square plus a square ln u plus square root of u square plus a square plus c Okay, then you probably think, ask me, well, if I don't remember this formula, if I have the problem coming out like this, what I'm going to do? If you know the formula, which is really good. If you don't know the formula, which is not, is not uh, bad, you can still can do it. For example, okay. For example, and um, find the arc length of the curve over the given interval y equals one half x square and x is zero to four the arc length formula, everyone knows that the arc length formula is L equals from A to B square root of 1 plus derivative of Fx square dx. Okay, everyone knows this formula. But uh, we can just plug it into here. You got the length interval is y L equals from 0 to 4 square root of derivative of a half of x squared is just x so you got 1 plus x squared dx well if I know the formula of the u squared plus a squared u is your x so you, at u squared plus 1 squared just plug in which is perfect you can get a final answer if you, if you use the formula what you get is you just use the formula half of um, x square root of x squared plus 1 plus ln x plus square root of x squared plus 1 uh, plug 4 and 0 in you get a half of 4 square root of 17 plus ln 4 plus square root of 17 okay so the final answer is 9.2936 well the problem the, prob the problem is sometimes you don't memorize formula what I'm going to do that's the question, right? So now assume I don't know anything about the formula. You can do, you still can do, uh, you still can do it. L equals 0 to 4 square root of 1 plus x squared dx. Now, now let's do no formula way. Okay, so first, can anyone tell me what do you think I need to substitute? Tangent. Very good, yes. Okay. Tangent of theta. I think that's it. so now we just plug into here okay d of x will equal second theta squared d theta and uh, well once I change the x and the tan theta then I have to change the theta back into so the theta is 
tan inverse of x. Okay, so now I have to change that. The boundary tangent inverse of zero is zero. Then tangent inverse of four is just tangent inverse of four. Okay, and then is square root of one plus tangent theta square, which is second theta, and then this is second theta square d theta. Okay, does it make sense, everyone? Okay, now you got this is tangent zero, tangent inverse of zero is zero, tangent inverse of four. Okay, so now you got this. Second theta cube. What do you think I need to work on this one? How do I work on the cube? Mm -hmm. U substitution. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can try the integral parts. Why do I do that? Because you can do U is second theta. Your dv is second theta squared. You know why? Because I know that antidote of second square is tangent. I want I just want to make some tangent out. You probably can think about maybe you can want change the second theta into one plus tangent theta square. You can try that. That probably works out as well. Okay, so you can integrate with this and derivative u, derivative of second is tangent uh, theta, second theta. Derivative, derivative second is that. And your second is tangent that. Then you have that, which is second of theta, tangent of theta, and then you plug into tangent inverse of four of zero, and then you got minus plus minus. This one times this one is tangent of theta square and a second theta, d theta, zero tangent inverse of four. Okay, in second theta tangent square, and you have that. Derivative tangent equals second. Derivative second equals tangent, I still can't figure out. So I have to keep that. Okay, so I'll do one more step. I'll have to leave the rest of the things to yourself and see if you can finish it at home yourself. Change the inverse of four. Now this one, you change the sec change the tangent into second minus one. And a second theta, d theta, okay? So you're gonna have second theta. You didn't know, I didn't even change anything with the left, okay? Tangent of theta, tangent of inverse of four of zero, and a minus you have zero tangent of inverse of four, and a second of theta cube back again minus zero to tangent inverse of four second of theta d theta. I'm fine with that one. Now I have something here, and my quest my uh, previous derivative is is the second cube is zero to tangent inverse over 4 of second d cube d theta. My previous antiderivative is the same, so I can shift this one to other side to here. So you got 2, 0 tangent inverse over 4, second theta, and you got this is second theta, tangent theta, tangent theta, tangent inverse over 4, 0 minus the antiderivative of second you have a formula per second. Okay, so zero to tangent inverse of four, second theta, d theta. Okay, can you can you go back and finish the whole thing by yourself? Find the you can put the one into here as one half. Okay. And you if you do that, you are gonna get the final answer is the exact the same thing as what I have here. Okay. So if you can try back home and see if you can finish that. Well thank you very much. Be sure if you go back to that, if you don't use the formula this the way, sometimes you probably it's easier. Alright, so let's see.
Okay, it's 